It is the most celebrated aircraft on Earth. Air Force One. Air Mobility Command supports two no-fail missions vital to U.S. national security. The number one mission is the nuclear mission. The number two mission is presidential airlift. These two missions are mobility airmen's highest priority. Air Force One, in its subtle yet distinguished paint scheme, one-of-a-kind call sign and ability to enable national interest through global transportation, is operated and maintained by the Presidential Airlift Group assigned to Air Mobility Command's 89th Airlift Wing, located at Joint Base Andrews, Maryland. The first flight of Air Force One was on January 11, 1943, when President Franklin D. Roosevelt flew to Morocco on a Boeing 314 Clipper. Roosevelt became the first president to travel abroad on an airplane as he flew to the Casablanca Conference. This record-setting journey paved the runway to a new age of presidential travel and the idea that a single military aircraft should be dedicated and reserved for the special air mission. In 1953, mid-air confusion over similar call signs between Eastern Airlines Flight 8610 and Air Force Flight 8610, which was carrying President Dwight D. Eisenhower, would change this special air mission forever. As a result, the call sign, Air Force One, was created and utilized any time the President of the United States boarded an Air Force aircraft. In 1962, the first aircraft designed specifically for presidential travel entered into service. Special Air Mission, or SAM 26000, premiered the now famous Air Force One paint scheme and was the most technologically advanced aircraft used for presidential travel. SAM-2-6000 was just one year old when it carried President Kennedy home from Dallas, Texas after his assassination. Assassination has a lot to do with the impact of Kennedy's involvement with the airplane. Of course, the assassination is a big part of it. And the fact that the casket was carried aboard Air Force One back to Washington. Uh, there's no way you can erase the history of it. Uh, and it's associated a lot with Kennedy because Mrs. Kennedy was involved in the design of it. it still remains the same. The, the uh, pattern of the, of the, even on the 747, the pattern pretty much resembles what this airplane looks like. SAM 
SAM-28000 and SAM-29000 had been in service since 1990 and have transported five active presidents across the globe. This aircraft and the airmen aboard will cruise to their limits on September 11, 2001. Mobility airmen are committed to providing safe and reliable travel, logistics, aerial port services, security, and global air to ground communications for the president, senior U.S. leaders, and senior military leaders. This capability provides the opportunity for leaders to communicate and build partnerships. We are part of America's history. Everything this wing does is part of America's history. And just to have the opportunity to serve in that capacity uh, with the airmen here, uh, it is. It's a dream come true. As the wing commander, it is my responsibility to organize, to train, and equip as we pursue our mission of making sure that our nation's senior, senior leaders get to wherever they need to do. Uh, and directly influence the national security of this country. I, I think as most people know, we operate Air Force One here. Uh, there, there are two, we call them VC-25s. There's uh, uh, a, a version of the commercial 747 um, and, and probably some of the most recognizable symbols of American freedom and American pride and power. The level of professionalism and expertise found in the men and women of the 89th Airlift Wing represent the very best and the excellence bound throughout the United States Air Force. The men and women of the 89th Airlift Wing continue their no-fail mission. There are hundreds of maintainers, aerial porters, security forces, and communication professionals ensuring the perfect execution of the Sam Fox mission. History is made with every Air Force One takeoff and landing. And this is possible because of the dedication of the men and women serving Air Mobility Command and the United States Air Force. Until next time, stay sharp and stay united. Subscribe for more.